Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a tutorial with Adobe XD and Photoshop and I'm going to be showing you how I created these animated GIFs that flow in line really nicely in my Behance case study. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first step is to actually create the animation itself in Adobe XD. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do that for a tab bar. I'm going to create an animation that shows the highlighted tab moving from the first to second to third to fourth and back to the first and have that looping as a GIF. So first we have to create an artboard for each of those selections. So as you can see, I've already done that. I have my tab bar here. In this tab bar, this is the selected state. In this tab bar, we have diffuser selected. In the third, we have benefits selected. And in the last one, we have the settings tab selected. And so the easiest way to do this is to start out with the first artboard and then duplicate it and simply move the different pieces around. And of course, you will also have to change some colors around. And the reason that it's best to do it that way is because you want the objects that you're moving to have the same layer name across each artboard. And that is because auto animate is going to look at the differences between the placement of objects in the artboard and animate the difference. So now that we have all four of these, we are going to go into prototype mode up here on the top left and we are going to set up this animation. So I'm going to select this first artboard and as you can see when I select an artboard in prototype mode it brings me this little arrow and once I click on it and drag I can point it to any of these artboards. So I would like for the first artboard to then animate to the second so I'm just going to do that and now we have this little indicator telling us that that's exactly what's happening but then we also have to look over here on the right we have right now selected a tap interaction which means when this artboard is tapped it is going to bring us to this now if we undo that and come back here and select on a tab and then click this over, that means that if you tap on that specific tab, not the whole artboard, but the specific object we've selected, then it will take you to this artboard. But neither of those is actually what we want. What we want instead is a time trigger. And that's because this isn't an interactive um, animation, but it's actually just for um, a GIF. It's just going to play on a loop without any interactions at all. And that is, of course, because we want it in the case study to play on a loop. So instead of a tap trigger or a drag trigger or any of those, we're choosing time, which means that after a certain amount of time, which we will set up, it will animate to the next screen. So I'm going to say that we want a full second in between each one. And that's because we want um, the tab to stay on this tab. And then after one second, it will scooch over to this tab. So there's a couple more things that we want to manipulate here. So what type of action do we want? We want auto animate because like I said, then Adobe XD is going to animate the difference and this tab is going to slide over exactly how we want it. Destination tab two, that is exactly what we want. That's what I've named this artboard. And easing, I actually want to try snap. I think that is going to look good because then this tab will snap over instead of just gradually um, scooching over I kind of want it to snap really quick and so 0.3 seconds should be good so to play the prototype and test it out we click on the artboard and we click on the play button up here perfect so that's exactly what we wanted now we can apply that same transition across the board so we simply click on the next artboard click and drag and as you can see it's remembered the settings that we wanted and carried them over so all we have to do is repeat that process and then we want to loop back to the beginning so let's 
select the first artboard and play it and see what it looks like. Perfect, that's exactly what we wanted. And what we want to do now is export it as an MP4, which is what Adobe XD will allow us to do if we click on this record button. So I'm gonna click on it when it gets back to the beginning. And as you can see, it just started, so I'm actually gonna let it go a few times and then trim it afterwards. Okay, perfect. So then I'm gonna stop recording and it's gonna ask me to save this. So I'm gonna save it as tab bar on my desktop and then I can open it up in QuickTime and trim it. So in order to do that, I do edit, trim, which the shortcut is command T and then I'm just going to trim this so I can start where it's on rituals right there and then I'm gonna play it through scrub through like this until it goes back to rituals right there so then I've selected exactly where I want and I'm going to hit trim and then I'll do command s to save I'm going to do tab bar and replace it Instead of uploading an mp4 to Behance, if we want it to flow seamlessly, we want to create an optimized GIF. And so to do that, we have to bring it into Photoshop and decrease the size as much as possible by deleting duplicate frames. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to open up Photoshop. And before we even open anything, I just want to do File, Import video frames to layers then it's going to prompt me to choose a video and of course i'm going to choose this tab bar video that we just made and it's going to ask you for some preferences so from beginning to end yes make frame animation should be checked so that's good click ok and as you can see it says it's going to be producing a large document which means there's lots and lots of layers and frames and so that's what we're going to tackle now okay so as you can see down here it has given us this timeline and if for some reason it opens up without a timeline all you'll do is go up to window and check off the timeline so now that we're seeing the timeline here we can see all of these different frames and as you can see I'm clicking through the frames but pretty much nothing is changing, which means we have lots of duplicate frames that we can get rid of. And so what we're going to do first before we get rid of every any frames at all is we're going to select all of the frames. And instead of having them play for 0.02 seconds, we're going to say no delay. OK, so now that we've done that, they all say zero seconds, which is what we want. And now we have to identify which frames we can delete and which ones we'll need to put a hold on. So let's figure out where this tab starts to move. Okay, looks like it doesn't start to move until frame 62. So we can get rid of, we wanna keep it 61 because we want to keep one where it's held on rituals, but we can delete from one to 61. So all I'm going to do is select those and hit the trash can. Perfect. Then what we wanna do is extend this, just this one frame to one second. And so then we're going to hold on this frame for one second. And then with no delay, we're going to move through all of these frames until we get to the diffuser. Looks like it stops on frame 21. So I'm going to extend frame 21 to one second and then from frame 22 onward to, let's see where it starts to move again, frame 83. So from 82 all the way to 22, we're going to delete them. Perfect, and then it will move through all of these frames with no delay. 
and we're just going to repeat this process. And we don't need a frame hold on here because we've already put a frame hold on the very first one. So now we want to preview this. So we're gonna go back to the beginning. We want it to loop forever. And then we're gonna press play and let's see how it looks. Perfect. It's going to take a bit of time to render, so make sure you watch it through like three or four times to really see the speed at which it's going to play. All right, and then once it looks how we want it to look, we're gonna go up to File and Export, Save for Web. And we have GIF select selected, which is what we want and i'm not going to mess with any of this stuff as long as the width is 1920 which is the same width as the artboard that we made in adobe xd then we're good to go and i'm going to do save and we'll call this tab bar dot gif and we'll save it to our desktop all right and then we're going to just click on it and click the space bar to preview it and it looks great so it's just going to keep rolling like that. And what we can do now is upload that right to Behance and it will upload just as quick as your other PNGs and JPEG files because it is such a small GIF file since we got rid of all of those unneeded frames. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any other questions about creating case studies or using Adobe XD, I would love to answer them or make a video about them in the future. So just leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.